welcome to Sauce Labs, where we help you test at the speed of awesome. Today, I'm going to show you how you can accelerate your testing with testing frameworks, sets of reusable components for running automated Selenium and Appium tests. There are testing frameworks for all the major programming languages, and each framework was built for a specific type of testing, unit, integrated, functional, or a combination. And frameworks are especially useful for running tests in parallel as part of a continuous integration process. The Sauce Labs sample testing framework repository on GitHub includes Selenium and Appium scripts for all the major programming languages and testing frameworks. And all the scripts can run tests in parallel against multiple browsers. You can clone, modify, and run any of the scripts to get familiar with the testing framework for your favorite language and make sure you have everything properly configured. For this demo, I'll pick a TestNG framework for Java. If you don't already have TestNG set up in your local environment, you can visit the TestNG website to get started and download TestNG plugins. TestNG also uses Maven as a project management tool and Ant to define TestNG tasks. And you can learn more about using these two tools on the TestNG website. I'll drill down into the project, click the Tests link, and then click the Test Base class to see all the libraries and dependencies I need to connect to the Sauce Labs cloud and run my test, including my Sauce Labs username and access key. One of our testing best practices is to store this information as environment variables, so that practice is standard across all of our testing framework example scripts. Scrolling down, we can see where TestNG uses a data provider to pass the browser and operating systems to my test, and where these parameters are incorporated into my test capabilities. This is also where the script instantiates the Selenium remote web driver and passes along the Sauce Labs authentication. So I've now downloaded, or cloned, the TestNG sample frameworks from GitHub and loaded the script into my Eclipse IDE. And now I'll run the script as a Maven test. Now I'll switch over to my Sauce Labs dashboard, where I can see all my tests running in parallel against the environments defined in the framework script. So testing frameworks are a great way to speed up your overall testing process, but they're also a critical component of a fully automated, continuous testing environment. And we've added Jenkins files to several of our testing frameworks, so you can execute your builds using Jenkins Pipeline Continuous Build Environment. Let's take a look. So I'm back in the Sauce Labs GitHub repository, and I'll click the Jenkins file link to see the different steps in executing my build. So first, we define Maven as the tool for executing the framework. Then, we're pulling our test script from GitHub using the repository URL. Next, we compile the code and execute it on Sauce Labs using Sauce Connect to establish a secure tunnel between the application being tested and the Sauce Labs browser cloud. This is where we execute the Maven test, and below that, we've set up a Sauce on-demand test publisher that collects test results and then populates the Jenkins dashboard with the data. So that's just a quick introduction to using testing frameworks with Sauce Labs. If you're already a Sauce Labs user, be sure to check out the Sauce Labs sample test frameworks repositories on GitHub. And if you aren't a Sauce Labs user, sign up for a free trial and get started today. Thank you.